Good morning and welcome to another episode of Balloon Shop Talk Roundtable Discussions. My name is Ben Rines. I'm Billy Muncie. And we're going to be talking about a few subjects today. Um, and then we're going to be showing a technique or two. And uh, this is our second one that we've done. I don't know whether you've seen, we've got new furniture here. We upgrade the studio about every few weeks. We get something new. Uh, next, we'll be getting some new lighting and uh, maybe some new backdrops. So it's a work in progress, but it's the material that we provide is what's going to be interesting to you. So today, we're going to talk about a couple things. And what will that be? The first thing I want to talk about is there's so much nice stuff on Facebook. And I see the comment all the time that people go, oh, wow, they're so talented, and I just want to define the difference between talent and skill. You know, they do they do wonderful work. A lot of them do, you know, we do wonderful work, and they, you got a lot of balloon celebrities that do the wonderful work. But we all had to start at the same place. They weren't born with, oh, you know, I got a new baby, he's gonna be a balloon artist. No, that's not how it really worked. Uh, everybody started off with the interest in balloon art, and they started off making, um, you know, things that they're today not proud of. And after this segment of this video, well, I'll put a couple pictures of some of the early stuff we did <laughs> and so that you can laugh at some of our early work because it was really quite funny. So, um, but what I want to talk about is it, when they say, oh, you're talented, I say, in my mind, I say, and I don't correct people on Facebook. Um, I just kind of go, no, it's, you know, you've developed a lot of skills. So um, we all, again, started, had to learn on how to inflate a balloon, learn what the different sizes of balloons are. Then we made the simple stuff that I'm gonna put in after this segment. There'll be a couple pictures of my silly stuff. And then you'll see progression from, you know, when we started to where we are now. If you look at the pictures I post on Facebook, I mean, lately these are beautiful portfolio pictures that you can use and any of my students are able to use them as well. So um, again, talent versus skill, a pet peeve of mine, but you know, again, I'm not gonna go out of my way to correct somebody, but it's a, all, it's a learned skill. When you come to my classes and you go through our six day training, you have learned a life skill. You're not gonna be talented, you're gonna learn a life skill that if you needed to generate an income anytime in your life, that this life scale will do that for you. So we do have a couple announcements today as well. Billy's going to be a little quiet this morning because I've been doing the I've been doing the work. <laughs> Billy's been doing the promoting on Facebook. He's the one you get the emails from. But what we decided was we have 19 videos, and we decided you know and people and we appreciate everybody buying them, you know along the way, and that's fine. You can still buy them individually. You can buy digital digital instant download or you can buy hard copy but we decided because we've already created them the expenses are already done to get more education out to people because we we do this out of passion out of out of dollars and cents we decided an offer special of all 19 videos for $199 instant and download instant download only not hard copies instant download only all 19 of our dvd cd kits uh 199 and a lot of people are taking advantage of that and that's great so then we decided that balloon classes online is an excellent program and we finally finished it up and it was a 12 13 month program you go a little bit of time your payment goes through but i had a hard time with people doing the payments and staying in the payments so we got that all done and I said, okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and make that an affordable program. So we went ahead and we made it, we unlocked it all. So it's all, when you sign on, you can have the whole program. If you wanna jump ahead and say, how do you do this? How do you do that? You can jump from part to part. So we said, let's, it's already bought and paid for. We've already created it. Let's do it $199. And I've sold a lot of those this morning. Now, but this product isn't only for professional balloon decorators. This can be for a mom at home. She says, I've got to do my son's graduation party. 
Well, honey, buy that for one ninety nine and buy your balloons. It's cut less than the cost of a professional mm -hmm. decorator. I'm not trying to chump professional decorators, but someone in the business already went ahead and did the DIY market and really contaminated it for the rest of us. So <clears throat> I might as well throw a card in the game. So again, so uh, the full balloon classes online is called Full Access. Am I right? Yes. Full all, no, All Access. All Access. Balloon... Uh, classic balloon decor. Okay, all access classic balloon decor for one ninety nine, and there's a lot of content on there. There's going to be your videos, your PDFs. You can take quizzes. Uh, I think we do have to put the final exam on. But the yeah. nice thing about about the all access balloon class online, we're not done with that. We're done with it to complete a requirement to give you the right amount of education, but we're also going to be adding more and more as we do new builds and stuff. It's always going to be something we're building on as our business. You know, we're, we've, we've got, you know, a level here. You come back six months, even though you've paid for it, you don't have to pay any more. You're going to get a build, a build, a build, and we're just going to keep building on that. So, so for anyone in the business, education is the key. Both products are an excellent buy. If you can't afford these products, you may not be able to afford them this week or next week, but if you can't afford to put them in your budget as a balloon decorator, you really shouldn't be in business. Because and another thing is we get so many so much feedback is like, oh my God, Ben and Bill, those balloon classes online are great. I, I know one guy, uh, Shan, he went ahead and watched the first arch one and two days later he had an arch all done <laughs> it was amazing they just absolutely love it so with that being said i'm not here to push product i want to let you know we're doing a website again a uh, new website for that geared to churches high schools do-it-yourself people corporate people just to buy the training it's a really fair price and it's a great product <clears throat> so all right, so now, I want to talk about the last couple weeks. Uh, many of you have gone to conventions. You went to float, and um, I didn't go to float this year. My schedule doesn't allow it, and I plan on going next year if my health allows it. Um, but float was wonderful this year. A big shout-out to Stephen Jones. Uh, he did a great job. Uh, the decor... The, the uh, sculptures, the creations were fantastic over the top. Uh, I think that it seems that he had like 400 people. I guess maybe he has more people this year. And, you know, if you're going to run it, I don't see, you know, you might as well take on more people. Um, some of my students went there and they had a great time. So uh, I can gauge on that. And then, of course, uh, one of my real close friends was there. And as pitches happened, I had them. They were on my desk. So, again, again a, a big shout-out to Float. Next, I want to talk about uh, the last couple of weeks, there have been a couple conventions. There's been Float 2019 and Twist and Shout uh, right after that, right after the uh, convention, right after another convention. Uh, Steve Jones and his team did a wonderful job in Float. Uh, this, I have to say, from the pictures I've seen, has been the best float ever. Uh, and I know that they're going to have float 2020. And Billy and I, if my health permits, we do plan on attending. Uh, this is a great convention. Uh, it's more for uh, intermediate to, to advanced. Uh, but they do a lot of big bills, a lot of competitions. They have really good classes to learn new techniques. You see new products there. So I say that uh, Float, we recommend to our students to go there. So um, sign up for Float. I think he signed up in May. I think he said the sign-ups are in May because I, I want to go to, um, I want to go to WBC. So, you know, because I'm getting older and I mentioned my health, I'll probably do these conventions one last time because it's getting hard for me to get around. So. With that being said, uh, they're all great conventions. And as you start with me and you do my online classes and my DVDs and you're putting out good stuff, uh, then you need to go to the next level and go to uh, Float, Twist and Shout, WBC. Those are excellent support uh, for your balloon art business. Okay, so um, 
Another thing um, I'm going to talk about and I'll put in this video. This is a tip, a sales tip. We, as some of you noticed on Facebook, we've been on TV a lot lately. Yes. And Billy's been doing his little <laughs> demos, and he's like the star of the show. And I told him, yes, yes, it's because of my age and gravity kind of took over that I won't be on na uh, local TV no more. So you'll be seeing Billy and Hiker on TV. <clears throat> However, <laughs> let me tell you what the advantage of doing this local TV is. You develop a relationship with a local TV channel. And most of them will have a channel that will have um, local news, local events, what's going on around town. And you get in with those people. They're not going to, they're going to kind of like, you're going to spook them at first because they're going, mm, I don't know what they're going to put on TV. They're going to put something, you know, kooky on TV. But the first time we went on, we went on in December, and we had our parade costumes, and they just went nuts. Yep. Because what happens is balloons is so visual, and these, these TV stations, you know, they got the local singers and the little cooking lady, and they need something to spice up that show. So you're the perfect person to do that. So when you do that, you, you know, they're not going to pay you to come on TV. You're going to go on, and I think, what did we spend last time? Under, under $500 under. in product, less than $500 in everything. But I'm going to tell you, the exposure that station gives me and the pictures and the, 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 the Facebook media, the, all the benefits that I receive from that, I can't afford as a small business to go on that TV station. Now, they do have guests that while we're there, you know, somebody came in that, that was just before one of our clips, and they said, uh, pay, promotional paid for by XYZ Doctor. So I do know, and I was told that, some, that not everybody comes in for free. So you need to, you need to work with your television. Um, they've got departments, and I can't remember what they called that department when I worked with the other station. Um, this guy, the guy that I worked through is a producer of the show, and I found out who he was, and then a, a, one of my customer friends said to his name and said, oh, you need to talk to Ben, and of course he did, and that's history. So <clears throat> we were able to get on there and do our balloon costumes just before the Gatlinburg Parade. So we did, the, we did that, and they just loved it and went nuts, and I got some beautiful pictures, and we'll put some clips on this cam on this footage as you go so you can see. Um, then we went and did the Sevierville Christmas Parade, the cute little parade. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, wasn't going to get much out of it, but we wanted to do it. We wanted to participate, and, uh, you know, the balloon art, the, the Santa and all that gives these kids joy, so we said, let's do it. And then we went and did the Gatlinburg Parade, which we was proud because that's a big parade. And it was televised mostly in certain areas across the country. Well, we won third place. For the first time ever in a massive parade, we won third place. So that was, pr what was pretty exciting for us. So then we went back to the studio, the TV studio. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. So we went and we did a New Year's Eve party. Balloon drop in the studio. We did decor. Uh, we did all kinds of stuff, and they just loved it. Again, it's just like we are the hero. But in the, in the, in the end, I'm going okay. I don't mind doing this for you. It's not a lot of work. A few hours here, a few hours there. But the benefit that comes back to my company is incredible. Everybody in East Tennessee knows, and I go into the under balloon training institute because I want to use it for branding. They call us the Smoky Mountain Balloon Company. That's fine. Um, I'm not marketing the right way that I need to, like you would, to advertise for your decorating business. Because I don't want to do decorating, I want to teach, and I want to do large things. So then we did, the, we did the New Year's, and then they had us come back a Valentine. couple of weeks ago. We did the big Valentine's Day heart, and we did the, what else did we do? Showed him how to make a table arrangement for yeah. Valentine's Day. Um, Billy, just a couple columns, I think, and then... Then we went back and did the... Oh, we did, we did the centerpieces. Yes, centerpieces. Yeah. We did the big heart centerpieces, and, and Billy Rose's. went on as Miss Betty. And, and no, I didn't go as Miss Betty. All right. Anyway, he went on and <laughs> showed him how to do. And then um, we made some roses that week. We made some roses. Twisted roses. So, um, 
So then after, so the, again, he says, I'm having a Valentine's Day special. I'm going, okay, the girls, my favorite girls, didn't get a chance to do the balloon drop because they were off for the holiday. One was sick and one was on vacation. Yeah. So anyway, I said, okay, my sweetheart girls, I owe them a Valentine's Day balloon drop. So we did that and we did the exploding columns. And then what Billy did is when he did the, he did the uh, wand, we put a lancet on top. Do you happen to have that? Uh, no, but what I did is uh, on the acrylic rod, I twisted a rose on the tip of it and then had the stem come down and then used a piece of U-glue at the top of the, at the rose. And it was just enough sticking out where they, when they took it off, they popped it in it. So there was some really cool uh, Valentine's Day telegram message singers there. And so they were delighted, so they got to pop the three-foot balloons. And all the guests that day that's, that were there gathered underneath the balloon drop. The balloon drop, too. So, like I said, when I put these pictures in my portfolio, it's exciting. Customers go, wow, you know. So, um, I mean, we're just not getting on ours. Um, the hostess, they were actually doing Instagram, yeah. Facebook. So, you're getting it on all, the, all kinds of level of, what is that? Social media. Social level. media. So, so, then after what happened then, every time I go on there, the TV station puts the video of us up on their website. So therefore I get more traffic from that. So, and I can just go ahead and copy the links and copy it and I can put that in my archives if I ever want to show it in the future. So with that being said, that's an excellent opportunity for you to get out in your community, get in touch with your local TV station and find that resource that will connect you with your area because once you can get on that TV it's priceless I, I wouldn't even dare to say the thousands of dollars in free advertising I've gotten so this last uh, we a couple weeks we had some students go to float to take their QBN CBA test and so we had three students from Balloon Training Institute do it and congratulations to all the three congratulations Cindy mm -hmm. Baylor congratulations Roger Reagan and congratulations Cheryl Watts. And shouldn't we say congratulations to the rest of the ones that were on there also? Yeah. Yeah, we want to congratulate you all, congratulate you all because that's a hard process mm -hmm. to go through <laughs> and shows that you worked hard and you're committed to your business and to the industry that you want to be the best you can very be you can be the very best you can <laughs> that's, a ton that's the thing with lives you Twister. get what you, you get what you get okay all right so let's talk about the advantages of the qbn kit and then i'm going to take you to the advantage of the cba kit all right the people go well i don't want to do that and some business say i don't feel that it's but when i get a student that enrolls online and I get their contact sheet through, it says, are you interested in becoming a certified balloon artist? And everybody says yes. And we have had, I don't even know the count, <laughs> we've had so many people through my class buy and sign up to take that test. So let's go over the advantages of, uh, you know, let me back up. Some people go, oh, you don't need to do that. But we believe it. Okay, it's time to talk about our good friends at Qualitex, and there's a quite a bit to talk about here. Uh, you go onto the Qualitex website, they're like any of the other websites, there's so much information that you'll want to spend some time with uh, looking at, reading, taking notes even. I would take notes on this one, there's so much on there. Um, again, you see the top, the products, inspiration, videos, education, events, why Qualitex, contact us in the magazines. Um, I want to take a little bit and talk about the QBN series, which is Qualitex Balloon Network. So you, this is a, a product by Qualitex, and you can buy it as an individual kit, or you can buy it as the CBA bundle. Now, so you take your, you buy your CB, QBN, I get mixed up, QBN, CBA, QBN kit, you watch the video and take your first test. When you complete that test, they will put you on their Find a Pro uh, referral listing. And if somebody needs work done in your area, Qualtics will refer you. 
Second of all, an advantage to this is you get free um, instruction sheet downloads, and those are really nice. They've got a lot on there. I was on there the other day, and they've got a lot on there, and they keep adding more. You can get free clip art and free flyers as a QBN member. So it's the first step in your journey, your educational journey with Qualitex to becoming a certified balloon artist. Now, if you bought the bundle, you have two more kits included in your bundle. You're going to watch the bundle number two. Um, I think it's going to be balloon decor or bouquets and deliveries. You're going to watch one of those. You're going to take a test online, get your score back, and then you'll take your final test. So there's three tests you're going to study and take online. Once you've completed all four of those, <clears throat> you will then <clears throat> submit four pictures to Qualitex using only Qualitex products. Once you have completed and you've passed for those pictures, uh, you are ready to take your CBA test. And there's sites all over the country during the year. You'll have to go to a, to a certified balloon artist testing site and take your four-hour test. Here at Balloon Training Institute, we have a CBA, QBN CBA study guide uh, that, that the, my students have used and it has, they, it's been very helpful to them. So let me know when you're ready to take your CBA and we'll certainly be there to help you. Um, <clears throat> A lot of things on Qualitex, again, they're going to have uh, catalogs. You're going to see the, the places you can uh, view the catalogs in a PDF format. And I think sometimes you can download those as well. So you, I used to download those to my iPad. And when I'm talking to a client, I didn't have to carry all these books. I could just go ahead. And we're going across the top and talking about the different things they do. Um, Again, uh, there's a place on here, too, because I'm not on this site as a regular basis as much as I should be, and they just completely redid it, and it's very nice. So sometimes I have to hunt around to find where I'm looking for. But you can find things by occasion and theme and different thing, and, and they have a lot of balloon ideas. And if you have a small store, they show you window setup. There's just so much on here that it's incredible. But... Um, again, there are good friends at Qualitex. The nice thing that we like about their balloons is if you need a certain color, you can get it in a 5-inch, 11-inch, 260, 160, 350, 646. The colors are consistent throughout the whole size program. So that's really good if you're doing a big build. Now, they also have foils. Their foils are really good. Uh, I've used some, I mean, we, we've been using the star points and the uh, tapers and um, a lot of different things in class but I am uh, we are, I need your help in asking them to bring back the colored tapers and the colored star points they have just discontinued them but other than that we're good friends at Qualitech so again spend some time on this website guys this is a really good resource for you uh, you can go the, the, the question you got to ask yourself Am I willing to invest this time to make a worthwhile, in, a worthwhile investment? And I think the answer always should be yes. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be a professional, I think you just need to go ahead and make the commitment and do it. Okay, so I'm going to close out this segment because I'm going to talk about some other products. Um, so we're just going to take a break and we'll be back. So, so you know that we did a helium-free uh, DVD CD kit about a month ago and that has a lot of information on it but also there's another way to do this as well uh, it's a pretty simple way uh, we went with a more difficult way the other way but I you know I want to provide the very best so I decided that I bought this stuff and I'm going to show you how it works Billy's going to do some and I'm going to do some because there's always more than one way of course, to do of course. And like I said, now, also, there's so many air-filled arrangements you can make um, without having to go through a complex situation like this. <laughs> so we bought standard cups and sticks. Cups. Let me get into it. Hold up the bag. Okay, cups and sticks. So, of course, the cup will go on the stick. And you're going to have to push that down in there pretty well and wedge that down in there. But here's what else we did. We bought connectors. Because you're going to need to have some of these longer for your arrangement. 
So we went and bought, if I can get them out. I can hold up the bag, you won't see them. I bought them on Amazon. There's a hundred in a bag and it was only a few dollars. It was not much at all. Just... So what it does, it goes on the inside. Oh no, it goes on the outside. Outside. I've got glasses on. Here, yeah, it's gonna be. Pause off, mister. <laughs> They're a little hard to do. They're real okay. tight. And and what I do is I push it down. Yeah, I was gonna say push it against the push table. Push it on the table. You want to get it about halfway. Okay, and then you're gonna push the other one in. Close it. I don't have the strength to do it. So it's push. Tell me if you can try to twist and push at the same time. There we go. Okay. So that's going to make a real tall for your helium-free arrangement. Now, we did something else, too. We bought this at Lowe's. And this is insulation support. Home Depot did not have it. And they're wires. Some of like ceiling wire, but you buy them in a straight box. And I think he wanted two of them. Two. What I'm going to try to do is kind of make the center one. It's not the two outer one levels. It was the two. It was the center one, and I just want to get two of these together. So what I'm going to do is just take a little piece of duct tape because what they do is go inside the tubes, and that's going to hold up your center one a little bit better. So I'm just going to put two of them together. If it doesn't exactly stay straight, it's just going to, when it goes in here, it will. And what I'm going to do, and hopefully I don't have too much duct tape, which I probably do. I was going to tell you, <laughs> stop rolling a little bit earlier. Yeah. Now, as you're making these, you decide you want to use this method to make these. It's going to get faster the more you make. If you're making one, it's going to go, oh my God, I can't, I can't do this with every arrangement I'm making. But if you're making 6, 10, 12, these can go together really quickly. So basically, just one turn is probably all you're we're going to be able to get. It's still a kind of a skinny, and this may not work. We may just have to put two of them in there. There we go. It was starting. Yeah, he got too much tape on it. There's still too much, so we're going to have to go with just one roll of tape is all you need. So. It will not come apart inside the inside the tube. I'm gonna stop and edit that out. You know, it's always trial and error. You know, That's the thing. You make a mistake, I show you how to correct a mistake. It's just showing you what to do and going to work with it. Well, when he, while he's working on that, let me talk to you about this sand weight. Many of you have seen my sand weight device that I've made on many of my other videos. And all I did is I just made the sand weight without tying anything and I stuck a water vial and I just push it right down into the middle of the weight. I'm doing my knee, not on the table. And you push it right down in. And it's, st and it's stable, it will stay in the middle. So it's just a sand weight balloon and I next time I make it a little bit bigger and I cram a water vial down in in the top of it. Now when you do the water vial you've got a plastic tip on the top. You're going to need to cut that in two three places for the the rods to go in there. So we're just going to go we're going to go boom boom and you're done. There you go. 
All right, now you can't come up too high to pop the balloon. Yep. Actually, it won't go through and pop the balloon because it's. Yep. Oh. That's perfect. Okay. Now, another suggestion I'm going to make. Let's see that. I would. I'm not used to these chairs. <laughs> I would get a little bit of PVC glue, glue that, glue that. Just glue those together. I would glue that together. I would take, you know, and do a whole bunch of them at once. But see, you've got wire in this, so you can bend that wire. If you, I'm not going to do it, but you'll see that it will stand up pretty straight. So it's a pretty good idea. Right. Hey, viewers, when you need to buy some balloons, supplies, uh, anything you need for your balloon business, please call Brody's Wholesale. Uh, I've been friends with Allison Lee for a long time. They're really good people. They've got good pricing. They've got great products. Their service, the fast shipping. Uh, Brody's is a, uh, uh, a great company. So please, we ask our students in class to use Brody's to, when we buy, uh, like, the premium equipment, the mag poles, the mag, uh, the, the mag movers, the magnets. Monofilament line, they have the best, the best deal on monofilament line. And if you take some time and look through this website, they've got a lot of stuff that you wouldn't expect them to have. Some odds and ends of things that would be really cool. So a big shout out to Brody's. We appreciate all you do. Next step after you got your center long one done is going to be, you're going to need six of these of your straws or what do you call them? Balloon straws. Balloon straws. Cups and sticks. Cups and sticks. So there's six of them because our next one's going to have to be a tall as though. So we need three of the connectors. And then again, you're just pushing them together. And it's easier to push on a table. If there was an easier way to do this, I would let you know. And you want to get them about halfway. Then you push your second one on there. And just kind of twist and push. Until you don't see them in and there it's together. I so just cut one of those in half and see how that works. Done. Yeah, so I think the durability will be good. I just cut one of these in half and you can get two two uh, sets of balloon sticks out of them so that will work and these will go twice as long, twice as fast. Twice as far. There we go. <laughs> there you go. My mind is somewhere else. Is that a half one? Yeah. So it's not as hard to do it that way. So then, we're, then you'll need three for your lower one. Okay. So what we're going to do is then we can go ahead and add our cups if we wanted to. It doesn't. You, know, you can do it both ways, before or after. You may hear some rain outside the building today. Yeah. It just came a good one. <laughs> As they say, if you don't like our weather, just wait a couple hours. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and then we're going to install, I think what we're going to do is put our ribbon on.
Just a few clips. So you're gonna use this one for a top? Yeah, my red one's gonna be a top and then the but I'm just gonna double my ribbon the day I want. I'm used to doing this as I go. After I tie that, when I've as I'm tying it in, not around the knots. I just let go of it thinking it was going to float. And I'm going to cut extra long ones. It doesn't matter because you can trim those. And this one's going to go into the one with the metal wire. And all I do is attach into the first one, pull the knot through into the second one. Come on. Oop. Now if you need to take a stick <laughs> off, that's fine. I just push in. Wrap around to the next one, pull the knot in, and then come to the third one and pull the nozzle out. So it's really secured in there. Find a hole for that, for your ribbon, and we're going to stick. I do suggest uh, using PVC, gluing your cups onto your sticks. Okay, what, okay. which one color do you want? So now I need three pinks. The pink's gonna be next. I was gonna say I'll do white on that and put red on that one. You don't have too much ribbon. I'll just do white. <laughs> and I'm going to find my next side then on the two the three that you don't have the wire in that are long that's going to be your level of your next three and it is easier to go ahead and start with the cup out of the stick <coughs> pull around down and out <coughs> Okay, once you make these a couple times, you'll have a template of the size of your cups and sticks. So you just cut them and get them ready. Like you said, you can hook your cup to your balloon, then your final step would be to use PVC and glue it to your stick. And once you do that a couple times, it will be fast, fast, fast. That I cut extra ribbon just to make sure it's going to be long enough and we'll make sure when we get done we'll trim it off. Always have excess and not enough. one for the top pink.
And then your next level is going to be your shorter three, which is then we're going to go with red. So to make it go faster, I, when you're doing your balloons, I'd probably, when you're inflating the balloon, is when I would probably put your ribbon in. It's a little bit easier to do that way than to tie it above the knot. Tie it into your knot when you're tying the balloon, yeah. Yeah. Are these misprints? These are my, the misprints, yes. Okay. <laughs> it feels like two Monday on a Tuesday. There's a bag right on the back of the chair. Oh, there it is. Now you won't have to have as much ribbon as your for your lower three because of course they're going to be closer to the sand weight or your base depending on what one you're doing. Find my bottom here. Normally you'd have your ribbon all wrapped and ready to go. And this one's kind of being a pain today. Hey, at least it's not snow and got four feet out of snow out That's there. True. <laughs> we can still get around. <laughs> this is one of those lazy days. So it's a lot of repetitiveness, really. Do you need more coffee? I think I'm going to. <laughs> I don't sleep well at nights. So I'm up and down all night long, so my days get to be. Your nights are turning into days, and days turning into nights. But I get up in the middle of the night and that's when I'm more creative, so I've worked all night per se, so this is my... So then you're next, we got all these on. Let's to arrange. I want to talk about Batalic. Uh, Batalic has got, um, they have beautiful balloons and a lot of different uh, design styles and new colors that they always come out with. Uh, on this page, go to the Batalic website, www.batalic.com. Uh, it's a great resource to see what's new and available. And you can also get some ideas of putting uh, uh, themes together. Uh, they're really good at putting things like on the front page like they're doing now. Now, when you go to Batalic, sign up for B Gallery. Create a new account there, and they're going to have, look, it says over 17 pages. I don't know how many pages are there, but they're going to have all kinds of different decor ideas for all these different occasions. And this is a great resource, and it's free. So, like I said, take advantage of this resource, and you'll see uh, the different designs and creations you can make. But you must sign up for an account and then just go back on to B Gallery. And then just keep an eye on that because most of these companies will update and add new designs. So um, we love Batalic and they have, like I said, they got the new beautiful colors. And towards the end, I'm going to show a little clip of the new um, um, matte finish pastels, if I think I'm saying it right. Uh, they're going to have the different brands of what they do. They're talking about Megaloons and Megaloons and Megaloon Juniors, the 34-inch and the large ones, uh, and all the different um, foils that they have as well. Um, 
a lot of information on this website. Make sure that you sign up and you uh, check this website out on a regular basis because I'm sure they're adding new uh, show and the distributors in the U.S. are only going to be Batalic. Through the rest of the world, they're going to be Sempatex. Uh, so here they're shown different occasions. You can filter out what you're looking for and pretty much find what you need, occasions and themes. So um, again, I'm going back to the B Gallery. I had to do a voiceover, so I'm kind of watching where I went. Uh, the sound wasn't very good, so this is a voiceover. But again, on the front page, they're going to have really cute designs there and how to put the different balloons together to make, to, to make something really cool. Uh, they're featuring probably the new balloons that they're going to have. And this here is, uh, you know, the Be Green, Be Balloon Smart, which is um, we're all concerned about the environment. And in just a minute, towards the end of this, you're going to see the new... Uh, matte finish pastels are absolutely beautiful. It's right there on the bottom, and I just enlarged it up, and here it goes. This computer was slow, so. Um, and this is our this is our second shop talk. We're going to get it a little more smoother. So look, look at these beautiful pastel matte latex, and five sizes and five soft chalky hues. And I've seen this on Facebook, and it's absolutely beautiful. So again. Um, you know, check out Batalic's website. Uh, again, it's just a, a plethora of information and new designs, and um, I'm sure you'll be adding Batalic to your want list. It's to arrange. So the best way to arrange just give me the is to you know we're going to go with the tall red one. And are we going to keep him that tall? Let's see. Because we'll have to get some plots, some to cut. That's it. Give me a three. And again, once you do this, then you'll know what your template's going to be. Just try to keep your. Ribbons. You're gonna to, I'm gonna to have to do it. And it's just you're working from the instead of working from the bottom up, you're working from the top down. Shall it right in there? And you just want them to set them kind of like right in there. And it's just doing the the, the same with the last three. Because you want to make sure that off whoops. But all three are the same way, and you're just nestling them up in there just like. Let's see if I can get over here. Whoop. Okay, there we go. I, I, I can hang okay. it here. All right, now you need to I go I just get want to show them real quick how they're nestled in just like normal. But you're going to you're have, going to have to cut where the last three smaller ones are. So go, let me hold that. You go get your PVC cutters. Let me, oh, let me just go ahead and keep hold on. He's running away with my balloons. <laughs> Again, take the steps we're doing and experiment and then make a template of what your cups and sticks are going to be and what your wire will need and just pre-cut it. You'll be able to knock these out really fast. Okay, I found something a little easier to use than... Yeah. That, the so proper tool. The proper tool. I'm going to go ahead. I'm using wire cutters even on the... Now, the ones just, he's cutting yeah. off, you can actually still use with connectors. And there we go. All right, so now... <laughs> He's going to set them right so, into my sandwich. So it may not be one little push. You may have to do it like I did the other day. Where, Well, there we go. All of them went in. I had to arrange all of them one by one as I went. 
Okay, then you went up and you tied a bow around here, right? And then I'm going to take, let's see, all our ribbon is going to go down. I know I, I, know I got extra, so I'm going to cut off about right, because I still want some extra on there. And you can tell I got some short pieces. And what I did is take just take a couple of pieces and I went up. You got ribbons in behind there. I know we can pull them out. And then just make a nice tight tie to where those are all standing together. And cut it at the knot, don't you? And you can either A, cut it at the knot if we made them long enough, then we could have, and then we can use then the curl. So what I'm trying to do now is just get all, are you, okay, <laughs> didn't know if you was holding on to any or not. No. So you want to get all of them off from here. So what I'm going to do is these are a little bit small, so I'm just going to cut them close to the, not that I tied. Now, you know, do a tie there. And once I get these done, you got any white ribbon? I'm going to take two more pieces of ribbon, and I'm just going to tie under the neck. Or actually, I may just have to use one, one that's long enough. And just give them a good tie also. And if I have to pull them a little bit tighter, I can pull them tighter. So our next step is we have foil and we actually Use this one on a previous demonstration that we was doing, our first prototype. Get some of this stuff out of the way. And what I'm going to do is to set the arrangement on it. And we're going to pull up each corner. Ah. It came off. Get back underneath there. Put a zip tie there. Get used to those four inch little clear zip ties. They're great. Because you can't see them. These ones are going to be black, but you won't be able to see them when he's done. But what I was going to do is, that, okay, I'm going to hold this down. And we're going to cover. around then take your zip tie connect it and I try to get it down as low as I can especially if you can hit it underneath that top of the water vial water and just tight make it as tight as you can and you cut off all the way up to <laughs> get in there and get it off your long excess and then I'm going to take and cut off some long streamers of ribbon and I'm going to go ahead and just cover where that zip tie is I'm just going to tie it. I'm hiding my mechanics. If it's a little bit too long, cut. And you can always give it a nice little curl. I like a loose curl. Some people like a real tight curl. It's up to you. It's your preference. It's just, I like a 
like a real light cur curl. Like a body wave. And then A, you can keep these on and just kind of shorten them up a little bit and do the same thing with those. Just give them a nice little curl as you finish up. And you can pull those up a little bit or pull them down. Oops. <laughs> so there, I can pan back a little bit and show you because I know that's not in the picture frame. Now, in this arrangement, we have very little money. So, say you went 25 cents a balloon, you're going to have you know, 150, 175 in balloons. Cups and sticks, you don't have hardly anything. The weight, you have hardly anything. Let's say $3, $5 or less in this arrangement. You sell easily any arrangement. I don't sell anything for less than $35. But you know, you could do something to cover this middle. You could wrap more ribbon around it. Right. You could make a, you could, you could decorate with some cello. You could make little scrunchies, like you take some fabric and make a little fabric thing to cover. That would be nice. So, uh, again, a helium free, easy, easy. We just showed you the concept. We'll probably do it for our video later. Um, but this is just, uh, this was part of the Balloon Shop Talk series we wanted to do, so. Um, let me kind of finish up on this today because the rain and it's getting, uh, I want to talk a little bit about, um, I want to talk a little bit about, we featured, I uh, talked about Float and we talked about Twist and Shout. Uh, we talked about Qualitex and I want to give a shout out to Batalic. Um, Vitalik now is coming out with some beautiful new colors. Um, you know, all these balloon companies are good. Some you're going to like colors from one better than the other. And I always hear the which balloon is better, B or, B or Q, and you know, they're all good. So the thing is, is Vitalik has some new beautiful colors out. But I was talking about when you became a QBN CBA member, you get these instruction sheets. Well, you can get them on Batalic too. You go on the Batalic w website and create an account, and you can go on to B Gallery, and they have all kinds of instruction sheets there too. And their designs are gonna be different than the ones on Qualitex. Mm -hmm. So that's just a real good tip to, to think about. I, again, that's free. Uh, and make sure you explore Qualitex website. Make sure you explore Batalic website because there's a lot of information there that's pretty much free. Now, I want to give a shout out to our long-term sponsors. High Float has been very good to us, and we'll feature them in a, fu in a future uh, segment. Uh, they're the uh, coating that goes on the inside of the balloons, and we call that flight extender. It sounds softer to your customer. You know, would you like High Float or would you like flight extender? Well, flight extender will bring a higher perceived value. But we want to give a big shout out to High Float for supporting Balloon Training Institute. And some of our other friends is Click Click. Click Click has been, oh, they provide us the magnets and the mock line and the loop line and all these wonderful products that make our lives easier and it just, you know, make, it keeps us safe because we don't have to climb ladders to, to mm -hmm. hang stuff from the ceilings. And you can't see with that camera, but we got all kinds of stuff hanging down through here. Uh, and uh, uh, Rabina and her staff have been very gracious and very nice to us, and they've supported us for a while like High Float has, so kudos to both of you. We do talk about you in every class, uh, and then anybody that wants to be sponsored on this program, just call me. I'm more than happy to talk about your company, and I'd like to see new products. If you've got new products and you want to send them to us, We'll be more than happy to demo them on our class. So I'm going to close this out today because I came in with good intentions. <laughs> My voice is getting coarse. <laughs> the rain is getting dreadful. It is just a dreary day, and I think I'm going to send home Billy <coughs> home to uh, edit this film. And uh, we'll prepare for the next Balloon Shop Talk in a week or two weeks. They come about every two weeks. And I said to one of my students, oh, we're getting ready to do a balloon shop talk today. And she goes, oh, yeah, I want to see it tonight. I says, 
No, sweetheart. It takes, <laughs> it, it takes overnight to edit. So from the time of shooting, it can take two, three days to come to. to Plus the uploading. We're in the mountains. We don't have the greatest internet, so but it does again, take a little bit. But again, I'm just going to pass by any of you viewers. Now is a good time to take advantage of our 199 sale. You know, we appreciate the support and continue to support Balloon Training Definitely. Institute. Sorry we can't give it to you, but we got bills to pay too. <laughs> but we felt that 199 is a fair price for our balloon classes online. It's a complete all access system and then all 19 DVDs for additional 199. So please support Balloon Training Institute and buy our products and so that we can continue to bring new and exciting ideas to you. So I think that, is anybody else we're gonna give a shout out to? Not that I can think of, but if we forgot you, we give you a shout out. How's that? Again, this <laughs> is, we're gonna call this one, the first one we did, we did pretty good. The second one, I'm gonna give this maybe a seven. It's a little lower energy because of the rain. But we're gonna, we try to shoot these on sunny days and when we're really good and organized. But I think with the healing arrangement, you learned a lot. I gave you the resources of Qualitex and Metallic. We talked about our sales. So I think we've got an all good presentation here. So again, mm -hmm. thank you for supporting Balloon Training Institute. If you have any questions, get a hold of me on Facebook. My email is ben at smballoon.com. Billy will do some editing and put that out for you. And until next time, have a great productive week. At Balloon Training Institute, we've been here just going on our fourth year. And we've been very lucky to have some good sponsors that's helped us along the way. So I want to give a special shout out to Conwin uh, for donating equipment and giving my students little gifts along the way. Um, we, they've been loving the equipment uh, and we've been using it heavily. Uh, and also Conwin, you've benefited from sales from that as well. Uh, premium balloon accessories. Uh, we love you guys. We love the uh, machine as well. Uh, the uh, um, Twin Air 2 uh, is an incredible product. Students are loving that. And um, I look forward to working with you more. But we appreciate all you've done for Balloon Training Institute. A special uh, shout out to Click Click. Click Click has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, if I just say, hey, I need uh, samples for my students, I need magpoles, whatever I need, two days later it's at my door i mean these people are just incredible and we love click click it's so easy to use and we actually we take not we actually we do take extra time in class to talk to the students to make sure they understand um how these products work and what a benefit it is to their business all my students love click click and the same goes for high float high float thank you so much you've been so generous as well um we always use high float in the class we teach them the proper ways to use it. We teach them about the endless high float bags and the bouquet bags. The students just love it. So thank you to all of us sponsors for all you do for Balloon Training Institute. We couldn't have done it without you. And uh, we're still growing. We're at our fourth year. We're proud to say we've had over uh, about 300 students to our program. So I know that there is buying power out there, but I have no way of tracking on who's buying what. But I know that I know that we're giving some people, uh, giving you guys some numbers along the way. So again, thank you so much. And we'll be featuring you more individually on uh, Balloon Shop Talk Roundtable Discussions. And one more thing, anybody sign up for our Facebook group Balloon Shop Talk Roundtable Discussions. We'll have specials in there about Balloon Training Institute, maybe coupons. You never know what kind of crazy thing Ben and Billy's going to do. So, uh, again, we appreciate your support, and thank you so much.